Dear viewers, plans devastated, students delayed, adventures canceled, through a year of more downs than ups, really only one thing has remained constant, in fact, gotten stronger. You. Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? And welcome to Divers Ready. My name is James, and welcome to this, the last Monday video of the year. Yes, I normally do the channel update videos on a Thursday, but this coming Thursday is going to be the last in the Dive Right series of gear maintenance videos. So I just wanted to kind of do our year in review slash what are we looking forward to next year kind of video. And it's also a great big opportunity for me to say thank you so much for all your support in this, what has undoubtedly been the most difficult of years for so, so many people. Let's take a quick look back then at everything that Divers Ready got into in 2020. Actually, our first full year as a channel, kind of a lot happened. We started January pretty strongly with some very popular videos about scuba training agencies and why you need certain cards to go diving. And then in February, lots of exciting things happened. I got to collaborate with Brian from Lake Hickory Scuba. You guys saw that video. We made one video for our channel and one video for his that were wildly popular. It was awesome to hang with that guy. Just great to dive with him, be on boats with him and just chat about diving in YouTube. Absolutely phenomenal. Also in February, we started our quick tip series, which has proved hugely successful and is still ongoing. The idea of those being that they were simpler videos, shorter format, no flashy B-roll sequences or anything like that. Uh, and just sort of like a, a five minute video that I could just pack with as many hints and tips as possible to give you maximum value for the shortest amount of watch time. And you guys are really latched onto it. So I appreciate it. Thank you so much for those. We will keep making quick tips videos. Then in March and April, as we entered lockdown, we dropped videos on private guides, uh, why being taught to kneel underwater sucks, and how to tip your dive professional. Cha-ching, thank you very much. And was it really then only in May of this year that we said goodbye to the old studio and took a month off from making videos? A lot of you guys freaked out, a lot of you guys thought I closed the channel down or something like that. I guess I didn't explain myself very well. And I apologize for the confusion created there, but uh, yeah, we moved house, we renovated, uh, we got settled into the new digs, all that kind of stuff. And we started up again, our first video after the break with the big dive locker reveal. And you guys went absolutely crazy in the comment section. And again, thank you so much for your support. In July, we covered why the current instructor recognition programs are a terrible idea. I gave you seven hacks in three minutes. Got to be honest, a video I thought would do much better than it actually did, but hey ho, there you go. And we dropped what has so far been our most viewed video of 2020, how to suck less. Sorry, how to suck less gas. Yeah, that's right, that joke works twice. As we took you on a deep dive into how to conserve your breathing medium while scuba diving. I dedicated August to giving you the lowdown on what you should expect at every level of training of the core scuba diver progression from open water to master scuba diver. I think those videos really connected with a lot of people. Um, all of our travel plans got canceled. On air, canceled. Great Lakes, canceled. Our trip back home to the UK, which was gonna be my first time diving in the UK as a dive professional since I became a professional. Cancelled, cancelled, cancelled. In fact, the only travel we got to do this year was that road trip to Tampa where we got to hang out with the crew from Adventure Outfitters in Tampa. And what a fantastic time that was. And just great to give you guys the behind the scenes of how a family ran dive centre operates. That brings us then to September, where we started the month by giving away an Aquinas dive watch, and you guys got to meet my brother. We also reviewed and gave away the Shearwater Peregrine, a fantastic recreational dive computer. And we launched the Meet My Dive Buddy series, where I bring in the people that I dive with on a regular basis, and you get to hear their stories and their take on scuba diving, which is a very different perspective from mine. On to October, I hated on integrated power inflators. I also shared my scuba bucket list with you and I completed my Critter Hunter Challenge. 
Thank you, Justin, by the way, that was big fun. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you haven't seen that one, that's definitely the video of the year you've got to check out. Also in October, we launched our gear maintenance series sponsored by Dive Rank, and I was truly overwhelmed by the response from all of you guys. I really appreciate it. We've fought tooth and nail to bring sponsors to this channel to help us keep making videos for you guys. And it really means the world to us that you've supported our sponsors, which is how you support us, and it's just, been truly epic with all the comments on those videos, all the views, you guys have been sharing it around, entering the giveaway competitions. Truly means the world to me, thank you so much. We can't keep doing this without you guys, so really appreciate that. And as I said at the start of this video, the last one in that series is coming up this coming Thursday where we'll be giving away a set of Dive Right regulators. In November then, I went over my choices for premium rental gear, and I also went off on a rant about why valet diving annoys the hell out of me. And we started a new series focused on underwater cameras and videography techniques with my good friend Matthias Lebo called Across the Ocean. Half of those videos are living on my channel, half of them are living on Matthias's, and we're creating kind of like a combined playlist between the two of us. Those videos will be carried on into 2021. In fact, we're recording more of them right now as this goes out. We're actually recording more of them right now. And now here we are in December where we dropped our review of the Garmin Descent Mark II, which we also gave away courtesy of Garmin. This was our most ambitious video of the year. It was my most challenging edit that I've ever done. Uh, it was also our most commented on video of the year, but that was basically because I made commenting on that video a requirement for entering the contest. So, hey ho, thanks to everyone that joined in. I appreciate it. On a personal note, I taught dozens and dozens of courses this year. As always happens with me, many, many, many of my students have become personal friends. Uh, I actually completed 255 dives this year, which was actually up on the 214 I completed in 2019. And that's despite having a two month lockdown. How that happened, I'm not even sure. I can't say that I achieved the personal growth in my own diving that I was hoping for this year. I was hoping that by this time, of uh, this year, that workbench just over my left shoulder would have a shiny new rebreather sitting on it, and I would be working my way, clocking hours on a unit towards getting my rebreather instructor ticket. That obviously hasn't happened for many reasons, but obviously we just couldn't justify in a year of such uncertainty dropping so much money on something so frivolous. But 2020 wasn't about personal growth. It, it just became a year of being thankful for what you've got, not wanting more or pushing or pushing. So let me be thankful. I wanna start by saying thank you to my students. I wanna thank you for being awesome, safe divers. I wanna thank you for keeping your knees up and staying in trim. And I wanna thank you for coming to me with a positive want to learn attitude because as a dive instructor, that's really all I need. Everything else I can mold you into, but you've got to come with that positive, ready to learn attitude. And by and large, you have this year and you've rocked my world. I really appreciate it. I also want to thank you guys for choosing me. There are a lot of great dive instructors out there. And the fact that you put your trust in me for your scuba education means the absolute world to me. Thank you very much. I also, of course, want to thank our sponsors throughout the year, Stream to Sea, Surfer, Aquinas Dive Watches, of course, uh, Shearwater, Garmin, and last but by no means least, Dive Right. Thank you so much for your deep involvement supporting the gear maintenance series, which is a series of videos that's going to live forever and continue to give value to divers past, present, and future. Thank you all for supporting the channel. Thank you all for helping me make videos for our community. Really appreciate it, guys. Thanks so much. Mostly, Karina and I just want to say a great big thank you to you guys, our community, our subscribers, for watching the content that we put out, for engaging with us, for sending us your questions, for commenting on our videos, for sharing our content uh, amongst your friends, amongst your groups, and for spreading our good name around. We really, really appreciate all the ways in which we get to engage with our community. And we want to say thank you for coming along for the ride. This has been undoubtedly a very tough year for us as it has been for so many people. Uh, just, you know, on a personal level, plans that were months and months in the making uh, were, were dashed as were so many people's plans. Our health, 
was f threatened as it was for so many people. Uh, and, you know, it seemed like just surviving this year was a great big win. And we honestly feel like we couldn't have survived this year without you guys. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you so much for being part of this awesome community. We love you guys. All right, so that's enough looking back. Let's look forward. What are the goals for Divers Ready for 2021? Well, first up, Instagram. Look, we got to figure this Instagram game out because we suck at it. We are admittedly terrible at it. I don't understand Instagram. If I didn't have a YouTube channel, I wouldn't have an Instagram account at all. We got to get our game on point here. Okay, so that is my pledge to you guys. If you do me the solid of heading over to our Instagram account and throwing us a follow, link in the description below, we will reward you with more behind the scenes footage or shots from Divers Ready and just share more of the stuff that you don't see through this standard me talking to the camera kind of angle. So we're going to do better in 2021 at Instagram in the coming year. That is my promise to you guys. Secondly, giveaways. We have done a fantastic job in this year of doing giveaways. I love doing giveaways. I love sending out the congratulations you won email. Uh, my goal is that by the end of 2021, this time next year, we will be giving away a complete head to toe equipment setup, computer, wetsuit, BCD fins, mask, regulator, the whole thing. I wanna give away a complete setup to one lucky viewer. But, but I'm only going to give it away to a true viewer. Not somebody who just watches the video to enter the giveaway and, and then is gone and never seen from the channel. This is going to be someone who is dedicated to this channel and puts the time in to watch our videos. That's all I'm going to say right now. I've got an idea. I don't want to be mysterious, but I feel like I have to be. Hmm. But we're going to give away a whole set of dive gear. And that's all you need to know. While we're on the subject of giveaways as well, can, can we be real again? Can I talk to you about something? Guys, I don't pick the winners. I don't pick them. It's not me personally choosing who wins the prizes. We use a online platform called Gleam. That's where you go to enter the contest. And I hit pick winner and Gleam randomly generates somebody who won. And yeah, there are criteria for entering and they're not gonna pick somebody who doesn't meet the criteria, but I have no say in the matter. It's entirely random. So all you people out there sending me messages and IMs and emails asking me to pick you and telling me your story as to why you deserve the prize over everyone else who's entered the contest is just a waste of your time. It, it doesn't do anything to me but you don't have to do that, guys. Like, spend your time doing something more fruitful. It's entirely random. The winners are picked at random. I have no say over the matter. It is what it is. The other comment I keep getting are, why are all the winners from the USA? Why not Europe? Why not someplace else? It, again, it's completely random. I have no control over that. And actually, statistically, uh, we get about 85% of our viewership from the USA. And of all the giveaways we've done since the start of the channel, only 72% of the winners have been from the USA. So for actually mathematically, there should be more winners from the United States, not less. So I understand if you're sitting in your house in Europe, you're like, oh, this is just an American channel. It's really not. Everyone has the same opportunity to win and I will ship the prize anywhere in the world. But it is all truly random, guys, I promise. Sardine run, that is a thing that is happening, okay? COVID, be damned. Be damned, yeah, I said it, I'm not scared. No, everything is looking like it's moving in the good direction. The vaccine is out and getting spread around now. South Africa has opened its borders up there. We're going, I'm gonna shoot a ton of video, hopefully make a festival worthy film, more on that to come, uh, and just, just have a blast. Just go out there and have a ton of fun. July, 2021, yes. We're doing it. Now, I'm also hesitant to tell you what the other travel plans are for the year because other countries haven't opened up yet and I'm still working out details and pricing and I don't want to jinx myself like I did last year when I said, oh, I'm going to the Great Lakes and Bonaire and 
it all went up in smoke. There will be other trips, details will be forthcoming. Stay tuned. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. I wish each and every one of you a fantastic, safe new year. I hope to see you all underwater in 2021 where we can make our scuba diving dreams come true. Thank you once again from the bottom of mine and Karina's hearts for all the love and support you've shown this community this year and through into next year. I can only promise that I'm going to keep putting out the best content I can as long as you guys keep watching it. That's about it. Can't ask for more than that. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And until next time, my name is James, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you in the new year. Dive safe, dive often. Okay, it's done. Let's get the hell out of this year. Sigh. <sighs>